It's a village! Yes! Hey, villager. Uh, you're a uh, level one. Interesting. What do you got to trade? Oh, wheat seeds for dirt. Yeah. And granite! Ugh! Yeah, these level one villagers kind of suck. <sighs> oh! Level eight. What does a level eight villager trade? <gasps> Oh! Wait, this villager trades beacons? Enchanting table? Elytra! And, uh, oh my goodness. Shiny apple! Pause. This is Minecraft, but you can upgrade villagers. I've revamped villagers entirely, so trading is going to be upgradable. Which means that the villager trades will improve over the course of this video. Will I be able to beat the game while upgrading villagers to their maximum potential? Watch to find out. Also, be sure to check if you're subscribed and like the video because according to YouTube statistics, you most likely aren't. Enjoy the video and I hope you have a great day. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's get the wood because wood is good and now let's just go quickly make a pickaxe to get some stone all right now that i've made my stone tools we shall go and do walking moment because we want to go and find a village to actually like do stuff in this video you know now our journey to find a village starts now Ow! Ah! what <laughs> we found a village perfect and of course since there's a village there are uh villagers over there hello villagers hello 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 you have a job oh uh, you're also level one, apparently. What? I hope you read the title, by the way, because these villagers can be upgraded over the course of this video. And as you can see, all of these villagers just start with level one. And the trades we get are... Uh, yay, dirt for bones and oak buttons. Yeah. Granite! Ew! And clay balls. These trades just kind of suck right now, man. But luckily, there is a system for us to go and get these trades to be much better than they are right now. And let me show you how this will work, okay? But let me get some dirt first. The reason why we need dirt is because we're going to have to use dirt to go and trade with the villagers. So we'll just do this real quick. Oh, I have a stack of dirt now. Okay. We could go and use the dirt to trade with the lad. The villager lad. Hey, villager. Let me just use my dirt to trade for some wheat. Yeah. What a deal. This is very ironic. But as you can see, I traded with this villager like three different times. And it says three out of 30 on the top. And basically what that indicates is that if you trade with each villager 30 times, then you could level up the villager. So if I traded 27 more times, then this villager will be a level two villager. So, uh... We're gonna have to go and trade some more. And since we're gonna have to go trade some more, we're gonna have to get more dirt. There's gonna be a lot of moments today, especially the dirt ones. Oh, I've mined over a stack of dirt. Holy crust! This is a lot of dirt. Mm hmm. Hello, I have my dirt for you that you desperately want for some reason. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go and trade. I guess we could go and get, I don't know, you know, some, some clay balls. Yeah, so useful. Yeah, maybe some gravel. Yeah. Yay, granite. So useful item. Yay. Okay, we're at 21 trades. We're almost there. We're almost there. Let's get some cobble, I guess. We could hold this for later for some reason, I guess. Yes. Oh gosh, we're at 28 trades now. Okay. Eh, we could do bones. All right. I think we'll do two more trades. Boom, boom. Oh, hey, you're level two. Look at that. Very nice. Now that we've upgraded our villager, let's see what items this villager has for us. Mm, level two. Bah. Oh, uh, it's slightly better. We got coal, blast furnace, glow ink sack. I don't know what we're going to use that for. And a site. An egg. Nice. Wait, I just realized the trades are also not using dirt anymore. It's cobblestone. Okay, so from what I'm understanding here is that every time we go and upgrade the villagers, the items we need to use to trade increases in quality and also the trades themselves, which means that the more we go and upgrade these villagers, the better the items nice looks like we need 30 cobblestone trades to go and upgrade this level two villager so uh let's do it i, I guess Ooh, okay i've grinded the cobble we got some stacks what up level two villager oh okay i guess we could go and get some coal here and there maybe a blast furnace or two that's good i guess we could go and get a bunch of eggs as well as we please oh that's a lot of eggs okay we did 24 trades with the villager but i think we could do a little bit more right about here boom Whew. Level three. Thank you, villager. Before we check the level three trades, I'm happy to announce that these trades are slightly less useless because we get like coal and, and blast for an eye. And we could use that to go and smelt if we need like, you know, some iron underground. I think we should probably get some iron armor before we progress. You know, I think that would be a good idea. Let's just go down to a cave real quick. Let's just establish a quick iron moment with the goods that we have from the trades. All right. 
All right, I smelted some iron from that cave. I've kind of ran out of iron. That's why I'm not full iron yet. But still, still, I have some armor. And also our tools have been upgraded. Nice. But yeah, we actually used our upgrades for the first time because it was actually useful. I'm like uh, level one. I mean, sure, there was wheat seeds in level one, but still, I don't want to feel like a Farmville player today. Anyways, what's level three? Oh, Ooh. Ooh, it's actually pretty good. It's starting to get really good now. Okay, iron ingot, links, milk bucket, shield, cobweb, book, shears. Nice. Oh, the materials are slightly more expensive with coal. Okay. Wait a minute. Didn't level two have a coal trade? Can't we just use the coal? What if we just leveled this villager to level two and then just trade a bunch of coal? Wouldn't that just work? It seems like we're starting a strategy. We should probably try it. First things first, we're gonna have to go and trade for dirt. So we're, let's just go grind some more. And then we're gonna go and trade with this and also that. Oh, the uh, level two. Yay. Why was that so loud? Thank you, villagers, I, I guess. Now we're gonna have to go and get some cobble because it's level two. Hello, level two villager. Let me go trade the coal, please. Bah! Yeah. Thank you, thank you. And I think we could go and trade with this villager using the coal that we traded from the other villager. So we just do this. Bah! <laughs> it worked. And now we've changed the meta. We successfully traded coal that we never mind. We only use to trade. It's like stocks, but with, with villagers and, and dirt and coal. Yeah. The villager economy is honestly one of a kind. Anyways, it seems like we got two options. We could either mine all of the materials that we need to trade or just keep trading until we could upgrade the villager. Strategy. But honestly, since coal's really easy to find, I mean, it's so common. Let's just do a coal moment. Oh, the coal journey is done. Villager, I'm back with coal. A lot of coal. Hi, I'd like to upgrade thingies. All right, I'll get your shield. I'll get some cobwebs for whatever reason. Oh, I'll get some shears. Why not? Maybe a milk bucket. Some planks because I like wood. And now some iron. Definitely. Ah! Uh, level four, I think. Are you level four now? Oh. Ooh. Slightly better stuff. Nice. Okay. Before it was planks, but now it's just logs. Nice. We got lava bucket. That's pretty cool. Jukebox. Ooh. Bread. Very good. We get food now. And redstone dust. This is slightly better. I like it. This is better than the wheat seeds and the bones that we had from earlier from the level one trades. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Also, I have a lot of eggs and I don't know what to do with it. I think there's one thing to do actually. Oh! Uh, I just used all my eggs. Be free chickens. Be free. I can't tell if that was good for the economy. Now the level four trades are okay, but trust me, they're going to get much, much better. The maximum level is level 10. If we could get to the maximum level, we're going to get some really, really good items. But we're going to have to work our way up to it. And it's going to be a bit of a grind, but it's all going to be worth it at the end. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, we're going to need iron to trade now. It was coal and now it's iron. Oh, boy. I think iron is fairly common. I think it would be a good idea for us to just go and just iron moment it up in three, two, one. Where's my level four? Level four? Level four? Level four? Hello. I have iron that is raw. I just realized I can't I can't trade it. Oops. Luckily I have my level two blast for an eye to go and smelt. Let me just do this real quick. Smelt it up, smelt it up. And now we're just gonna have to wait patiently. Yay. Also, I've realized these villagers like going wherever they want to. And it's really difficult for me to find them sometimes. So honestly, I might just have to put you in like a cage. Sorry, maybe. Here, I'm gonna go and make a little like granite platform right there. There you go. And I'm gonna just lead them towards me. Come here, villager. Let's go up here. Low villager and you're trapped. Got him. Okay, now we'll know exactly where our villager is at. Very good. Hey, hey, what's up, villager? Yeah, let's just wait for the iron to just finish up real quick, okay? And we're just gonna do some some trades, all right? If you're worried right now, villager, no worries, no worries, because this will protect you from all zombies, okay, villager? So there's nothing to worry about, all right? Yep, that villager looks very happy in the granite cell. All right, we're done. Look at this. We got four stacks of iron ingots. This is gonna be satisfying. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yeah. But now we could use the iron to go and trade. Yee, hello. Uh, I would like one jukebox, please. Thank you. A bunch of bread because I'm hungry. And some wood because wood is good. And a flint and steel for later. And a bunch of redstone. Oh, wow. That was nice. Bah! Thank you for redstone. Thank you. Oh, oh, level five. What's the new trades for level five, huh? <laughs> oh, pick step. Yes, yes, yes. We can do the thing.
Ba, 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 ba. Okay, done. But there's a lot of other stuff too, like cake. That's so good. A horse spawn egg. O okay. Upgraded food. Before it was bread, but now it's steak. The better food. Nice. Copper ingots. Oh, boy. Iron horse armor. That's implying something with the spawn egg, I think. And emeralds. We've gone full circle now. This is weird. You know, the funny thing is that emeralds are kind of useless in this. We've been using so many different items that are just not emeralds at all for the villagers. So uh, I think emeralds are actually useless for this game. But it seems like we're going to have to use a bunch of redstone to trade. Which honestly isn't that bad considering that you could get a lot of redstone just by mining one redstone ore. So uh, should we go underground? I think the answer is yes. Moment! I'm back with redstone. Also, the redstone was really, really easy to get, by the way. We got so much redstone in such little time. All right, let's go and get some um things. Sure, we could get a horse. I'm down with some armor. Very nice. I'm down for a lot of cake. I'm okay with this. All right. And let's just go and get a bunch of copper because I'm assuming we're going to need it for next level. Um, We're at level six now. Oh! Ooh, okay. That is good. All right. Looks like these trades are now above average because we're six out of 10 in levels. Nice. Looks like we're going to need lapis for next one. Golden carrots saddle. That's actually going to be really, really good for the, uh, you know, horse diamond pickaxe. I actually kind of want that right now. Yoink. Arrows for later. I will take some of this. Speed potion. That's actually really helpful. Speed two. Very good. And obsidian. <laughs> I guess we'll need obsidian maybe. Oh boy. Oh, I've realized we're going to need more copper. Oh boy. Luckily, we have a diamond pickaxe now. So I think the better option is to just mine the copper. If you didn't know, copper is pretty common. Let's go get some copper right now. Copper! Ooh, okay. All of my copper has been smelted. I did all the copper moments, and now we have a bunch of copper to go trade with level six villager. Let's get some carrots. Yeah. I think we're literally good on food for the rest of the game. Nice. We'll get a bit more speed right here. A little bit more obsidian as well. Why not? We have a stack of obsidian. I just realized what we could do with this obsidian. Let me just put some obsidian here real quick, and we're done. <laughs> Will it work? Oh, it works. <laughs> This is what happens if you have a surplus of a uh, obsidian. I'm doing a great job at allocating my assets to very useful items like like this. If we ever need to go to the nether, we could use our giant portal. Oh yeah, and also we need one more trade. Um, let's get lapis. Woo! Level seven. It seems like we're gonna have new items here. Oh yeah. Level seven. Bah. Huh? Ooh, wait, that's be <laughs> that's bedrock. Bed rock trade along with enchanting bottles good power three bow fireworks anvil fire res that's really good for when we have to go to the nether and amethyst and luckily we have to use lapis which is actually also a pretty easy item to obtain considering that lapis drops a lot every time you mine one ore that's gonna be really good for a pickaxe so i think we could go mine again I am back. Hello, hello, hello. Anyways, we should go and trade with level seven villager here. Hello, level seven. I have a bunch of lapis. Also, the lapis was even easier to get than the redstone. So we're good. All right, let's go and trade with you. Hello. Let's get a power three bow. That's actually insane. Let's also get our anvil. A bunch of bottles of enchanting. I don't mind getting this. You know what? Screw it. I I'm going to get bedrock. Bang. Bedrock. <laughs> nice. We could get a few fire res as well. Just for the nether, of course. And we could just end it off with... Eh, some amethyst. Oh, level eight. Level eight. Oh boy. We got more trades. Wait, that's an elytra. Oh, I want the elytra so badly. We could honestly get it right now. Elytra, bang. Nice. We got an elytra. Good. Traveling is going to be so, so nice. It's going to be amazing. Oh, we got a beacon as well. We get a beacon. What? <laughs> beacon. Perfect. Oh, there's so much good stuff in this chest. Holy crap. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to have to get amethyst oh that's gonna be kind of difficult you know looking back redstone lapis etc that's all easy to get but for amethyst it's a little bit more rare um we might have to do the trading thing in order for us to get amethyst honestly i guess we could trade our way up to like level seven hopefully that won't be too bad of a thingy because it seems like we have like a lot of each item you know so uh yeah this will take probably no time all right let's just quickly gather some items real quick so we could go get another level seven villager why not let me just go make another platform here you know hello other villager come here come here villager enter oh we're gonna have you as our second villager okay sir all right let's go trade some of this 
Ow, that was loud. All right, let's go and trade some iron. Ooh, we could go and get some books if we wanted to as well. Let's get this. All right, let's go trade with our iron now. Ooh, and we're gonna go and trade our redstone. Ah! That is the sound of me trading multiple times at the same time and also upgrading it. And now we get the lapis as well. Ow! Ooh, we could go get some fire rockets. I forgot the fire rockets. I think the fire rockets are great. Now we get more amethyst for ourselves. Yes, thank you, ouchie. Okay, we got a bunch of amethyst. Easy peasy. And now we trade. We're at 14 out of 30. Oh boy, we're probably gonna have to grind more. Okay. Oh, amethyst. Why do you have to be so difficult to obtain? <gasps> Wait, I hear sounds. Yes! Oh! Thank you, Enderman, for telling me where it's at. Shards. Let's get a shard moment. This is a new moment for us. Oh, I got all the amethyst. This literally took so long for me to find this little uh, uh amethyst hole thing. Anyways, we got our amethyst. Let's just get out of here now. Hello, I got the amethyst. Let's go get some... Eh, TNT because we can. Definitely a lot of this. A lot of iron because we can as well. And uh, of course, gold. Bah! Ooh! Nice. Ooh! Diamonds is the next one. Yes! This is gonna be really good. We're at level nine right now. This is the second best level that we have for these trades. And also, there's books. What type of books, though? Protection four! Yes! Loyalty three. Quick charge three. That's really good. Fortune three! Yes! That's so, so good. Feather falling four. And so touch. I think the first thing that we should probably get is this. Fortune three. Very nice. And protection four. We could get a bunch of this protection. Very good. Oh, that's so, so good. That's so, so nice. We could honestly get more gold from here too yes wait i realize there's enchanted golden apples here oh yeah also let's go trade with the other villager real quick okay since we have a surplus of amethyst let's go and get like i don't know extra of this and we could go and get more gold bah! nice trades nice trades i think the smartest thing for us to do right now is to probably just add the fortune three on our pickaxe right now bah! Hey, no. And now that we have fortune three, I think it's a very, very smart idea for us to just go and just grind for a bunch of raw gold. We could go and get so much gold so quickly. Thank you, fortune. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And also we could get this. Bah. Wait a minute. We could go and use all the items that we currently have to just make one of these. An enchanting table. Nice. We use like three different levels of items to get this block should probably go and get our lapis real quick and let's go and just enchant stuff right now because we have a lot of levels for us to use oh yeah we also have a bunch of books from the earlier trades this is actually nice looking slightly better yay wait i also realized we could use our beacon as well oh this is good okay 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 i have a great idea what if we just go and mine straight down right now i'm gonna mine straight down all the way here yeah we'll just go down to y11 right here okay now we're gonna go and place our blocks of iron that we had from earlier bang and then the beacon and then i think this will work haste yes beacon Woo! are we fast we're fast slightly very slightly but we have haste that is so good oh yes the rare moments for us to use a beacon amazing now let's just go and find some gold shall we oh gold oh Ooh, we got four gold right there. Look at this gold, yes! Oh my gosh, we're getting a good amount. A very good amount right there. From one vein, we got 17 raw gold. Oh my gosh, it's stacking up good. It's stacking up real good now. Any more gold? Yes, good. Oh, there's more gold up here. Very nice. Oh, this is gonna make a very nice gold moment. Yes! All right, that was so satisfying. Oh my goodness. Fortune three is such a bop, dude. Okay, we have a lot of raw gold and we are gonna have to go and just smelt this real quick. And after we're gonna have a lot of ingots for ourselves. While we wait for this gold to go and smelt, I think it would be smart for us to go and actually upgrade this power three bow. Because the nice thing is that we actually have a lot of enchanting bottles and also cobwebs, which means that we could go and make a lot of bows and then enchant those bows, and then combine those bows together to make power four, you know? I think we should probably do that. So I think it's a good idea to just go like, and also we're gonna have to go like, and also bang, bang, bang. And we're just gonna keep getting some string real quick. All right, let's go and make some bows real quick. Boom. We got four bows. Nice. Let's just go and put power on all these bows. And now we're gonna combine them. Boom. And now, boom. Power four, easy peasy. Okay, you know what? I'll be honest with you. I kind of want to make power five. Let's do it. Oh, we need two more levels. Dang it. I mean, there's one way for us to go and get levels, you know? Like this. Whoa! 
Oh, level 19. And, uh... We got a casualty. Sorry, pink sheep. Anyways, let's go and get power five. And ba boom. Power five. The maximum power level. Nice. This bow became super saiyan. Anyways, I think our gold is ready. Oh, it is. It is quite ready. We got about two and a half stacks of gold. Very, very easy peasy lemon squeezy. And now we get a bunch of protection if we wanted to. Like so. Oh yeah, and also diamonds. Bah! Nice. I think it's actually smarter for us to use the, the cheaper trades because we get more trades out of it. And since we needed a requirement to go and upgrade our level, I think it's smart for us to do this trade right here. The one that costs three to get this. Oh, I'm not going to use any of this feather falling, maybe except for one. But if this is what it takes to go and get level 10, then so be it. Level 10. Oh, this is it. This is, this is the maximum level. What do we get? I'm going to go and right click to see. The trades in three, two, one. Ba! Ooh! <laughs> Net the right protection ten. Full armor set. Oh my goodness! We got totem of undying block of netherite, and also the sword. The sword's insane. Fire aspect ten, knockback ten, and sharpness ten. This is gonna be my first purchase. I'm gonna test this sword out. Ba! And even the horse, bah! This is a good sword. Oh, I wish we had more diamonds. I wish we had more diamonds. Okay, we're gonna do one last mining moment for the diamonds, all right? So then we can get fully ready. Diamond moment in three, two, one. Okay, that didn't take that much time. That did not take that much time. We have a bit over a stack of diamonds, by the way. And we could go and trade. It's time. This is gonna be one of the most satisfying moments because we've grinded all the levels up to this moment. The level 10, the maximum level. And now we could go and trade for netherite armor and a lot of totems, apparently. Let's do this. Helmet, chest plates, leggings, and boots. Oh, yes. Get this old armor out of here. We got full netherite with protection 10. Honestly, how's the fall damage? Minimal. That's pretty good. Also, we could go and splurge on the totems. <laughs> you know, Mr. Villager, I think it's time for us to uh, call it a wrap. You're now free. Be free. Be free. And now it's time for us to go and make our loadout. Let's configure this loadout to make this really, really nice. Okay, I've set it up. I've upgraded my tools. So now they're all netherite. And look at our loadout. Look at this. Look at these totems. Look at this armor. Look at the sword and the bow. Look at these potions. And look at the, the yellow carrot. Yeah. With this loadout, I am now the most overpowered person just by trading with dirt. <laughs> Humble beginnings. Anyways, I think it's actually time for us to use our, uh, our gigantic portal now to enter the nether. Let's do this. Here we go. It's time, it's time, it's time. Here we go, here we go. Let's find things. Oh my goodness. Also, this, this entrance sucks. Well then. All right, we're gonna have to mine through this then. The reason why we're in the nether right now is because we need blaze rods and ender pearls for us to go and make eyes of ender in order for us to go and enter the stronghold to kill the dragon. So let's do this. Let's explore the nether. I hear noises. Oh, wait. That's a good sign. That's a really good sign. Yes. Hello. It's a bastion! Oh! <laughs> it's a bastion! Perfect! Oh, it's a stables as well. Very interesting. Okay, let's go down here real quick. There is going to be some gold somewhere here. Hold on, let's find it. I know where to find the gold. It's right here. It's right here. It's gonna be behind this wall. Yes. Piglins, please come in, piglins. Come on, trade, you guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, go, go, trade. Come on, come on, give me pearls. Oh! Yes! Five! That is so good! Oh! Eight! Woo! Ooh, overstack, overstack, overstack. No, that's it. Oh, the final one. <laughs> we got 20 pearls. 20 pearls is good. That is so nice. I'm actually gonna use my elytra now. Thank goodness. All right, elytra mode, go. Ooh, that's elytra out of here now. Here we go, here we go. What? <laughs> the fortress was just right here. <laughs> yes. This is such a godly nether. This nether is amazing. This is one of the best nethers I've ever had. Where's the blaze spawner now? Come on, show me it. Oh, I hear something. I hear it. It has to be like right here, maybe. Come on, where is it? It sounds so close by. It sounds like it's like right here or something. What is this? Oh my god, it's a spawner. It's literally right here. Perfect. Hello. We're getting our rods now. We're getting our rods. We got seven rods. Good. 
Oh my gosh, we got eight. I'm leaving on eight. I'm actually leaving on eight. Boom. We got 16 eyes of Ender. Very nice. Okay, let's go and make our portal. And then we go bang. Success. That is success. Very good. All right, we're here. Whatever this place is. We're in the middle of wherever. But let's just go find the direction that we have to go to. Okay, over here. All right, let's go throw it over here. It's really close. Oh, this is going to be such a close stronghold. 100%. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I found the chunk. Easy peasy. Okay, 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 okay. Now we're going to mine straight down, okay? We just need to mine straight down and we'll be in it. We're here. Oh, <laughs> it's just right here. Okay, go, 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 go. Bang. All right, there it is. We're ready to go. It's time for us to do this. I'm going to go and throw one splash right here of speed. Now we go in three, two, one, go. Let's go. Here we go. Let's do this. Whoa. Let's go. Elytra time. Whoa. Getting all the crystals. Good. Let's get the cage ones as well. They're a swoop force. Bang! Let's go and get this dragon. Here we go. I'm gonna try to kill this dragon without touching the, the ground at all. Come here, dragon! Let's go! Oh, it's perching! Blow her up! Go! Oh! Go, 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 go! Slam her! Almost there! I'm gonna light and slap you! Come here, dragon! You're almost dead! Elytra! Come here! Let's go! <laughs> what? What? What was that? like that before uh, that was amazing goodbye armor you've done well today go take a rest now but it's time for us to go and end the video thank you for watching that was really fun i i really enjoyed that that was really cool let me know if you want to see more upgrade stuff in the future but yeah